today we're going to be doing something for the shoulders. It's pretty good. It's going to activate a lot of this stuff here, back here, anything that you use to raise your shoulders up. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a spirit bomb from the show Dragon Ball Z. Basically, it's like the most powerful attack that the character Goku or Kakarot uses against the, the enemy to often like get a victory. And he has to stand there like this, holding up this like spirit bomb of power for whatever, a long time until it all builds and gets up all the energy, right? So let's do it. Uh, just set your phone down or computer or whatever, step away, get some space and just put your arms above your head. Okay, don't worry at first where they are because we're gonna be here for a while because the point of this is to really learn what's going on with, you know, whatever muscles are being used right now, okay? Like, in a, in a physical sense, like in a neurological sense, like in a way that you get to know how that muscle works, like really knowing it with your own brain, not like a textbook understanding, like in a feeling way. So all you need to do to start off with is put your hands above your head and you don't need to worry like, oh, should I have it like this? Or like more rotated and do I need to have it like this? Or, or just let the arms go and should I hold it up high or should I hold it up low? None of that matters. Doesn't matter at all. There's no, there's no right way to do it. Like, because there is no, there is no right position. <laughs> there just, there just isn't. Okay, all, all we're doing is we're holding these above their head, above the head, and we're gonna see what happens. Like, what will happen? Like, where do you think it will get tied first? <laughs> How long will you be able to hold it? What will the sensation be when it becomes tired? I've done a lot of these um, things, these like types of exercises. Like, I, with my coach, Aero Westerberg, we do these things like this and we call them we just refer to them as static holds so this doesn't have to be so static though I, I don't like to keep it particularly completely static it's like it doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter whether we come down here for a moment or we go all the way up or we you know go over like that and you should do that you really should as long as we constantly have the uh, you know the shoulders keeping the arms above the head like this, even if it's over here for a while, that's cool. We're, we're doing the exercise, it just, it doesn't matter. We're gonna use your shoulders in a way that you never used them bef before. Like, I, when, when I say in, never before, I just mean that you don't normally use them like this, okay? So you can experiment with, with it, right? Why don't you, you know, your arms like kind of like rotate, right? Give that a try. Yeah, you can put your, the backs of your palms together, kind of rotate it that way. And then you can rotate in this way. You can try a bit to the front. And it's okay for me to put my hand down and point because I've still got it, still holding. Yeah, you can see how, you know, when you hold it to the front, you know, there's more activation here. When you hold it to the back, I don't know, it's kind of like, just go into a little spot or something like that. That like little little nook. So you might be starting to feel a bit of a burn, but nothing happens until until you really start to tax yourself. Okay, like nothing. You know, the problem with so many exercises is you just do it for such a short amount of time that the muscle really doesn't get used in any new way. Even when you go to the gym, you know, it's like you lift it, you do your eight, you go up eight times and it's the same eight as you did last time. Every week, you just go and do the exact same movement and try to perfect the path. You know, Bruce, Bruce Lee would just pick up a weight and just kind of like lift it and move it around. Just hold, hold some weight and just move. <sighs> yeah, so the shoulders, I'll, I'll tell you about the anatomy of the shoulders, right? From what I know. So, how do you think 
the shoulders are connected to the body. Just have a think of it yourself, like, you know, how are the, the shoulders connected to the rest of your skeleton? Just have a think about that. I'll tell you. So in actual fact, the only way that the shoulders are connected to your skeleton by bone and by joints is at your collarbone. Right, this thing. So there's a bone that goes from here on, I guess it's the head, like the, the center plate, like of your sternum or something like that, like a breastbone kind of thing. And there's a joint there, one end of the collarbone, and then the other end of the collarbone goes off to the, towards the shoulder. And eventually, you know, runs into the area where it's like this ball and socket joint for your arm. And then there's another component and it just, just goes back further and then you get this big scapula at the back. So the arm and the scapula are just kind of like attached to this collarbone and that's it. <laughs> but they're also attached to the fascia and the muscles. So, you know, you, you get this fascial web coming down off your, you know, <laughs> off here and your, your shoulders, like your arms and your scapula are literally just hanging from it, right? They're just hanging. Like there is no like mm, resting place <laughs> for the shoulders, like where they just like sit in a in a bone <laughs> or, or something like that. You know how like it kind of feels like in a way like your pelvis is kind of like sitting on top of your your hips, even though it's not quite like that. It still feels like it can kind of rest on top of them. But your shoulders aren't like that. They're just dangling <laughs> from this uh, this muscle coming down from your head and um, cervical spine, just hanging there, just constantly. So you can kind of, you can use like whatever level of tension you want at any time, you know, you can pull it up closer or you can use less tension and it can go down lower. And when there's more tension, it can, it gets tired because like it takes energy to maintain tension, right? You know, like we're, we're holding it like literally up right now. So it's like, it's using a lot of energy and creating a lot of tension to do this. But like what we do is we just walk around with, um, like holding the shoulders up higher than they need to be, <laughs> which is funny. I guess it's like, it's like some, some sort of like, emotional reaction like anxiety driven reaction to like bring your shoulders up and unless you let them back down again after you bring them up in reaction then they don't come back down they just kind of like go up <laughs> like they just raise up I'll give you a crazy example of how, how this that kind of works right I noticed that like, just say you go out in the cold, right? It's really cold, and you're like, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, and you like raise your shoulders up, right? Like, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, trying to bring your body together, something like that, which is not the way you're meant to <laughs> uh, deal with the cold. You're meant to like breathe and you know be calm, you know, like Wim Hof kind of kind of thing. But I mean, you know, Wim Hof is kind of kind of basic. <laughs> like he's very successful, but like his whole thing is like just breathe. Breathe. Yeah. Like, if you're out in the cold, you just you just breathe nice and well, and you don't feel the cold as much. But usually, we, what we do is like we bring our body together and like squeeze it together, right? And that basically makes everything like the blood vessels get squeezed together, and then then you feel cold, which is ridiculous. Um. So. Just say you're out in the cold, you bring your shoulders up, right? Um, feeling burn? Just keep going. There's no need to uh, worry about that. That's totally fine. Like, that is totally fine. But nothing bad's gonna happen, okay? Like, you can hold your shoulders up and they can get tired, 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 super, super tired. This will not make your shoulders tired. It seems the opposite of what everyone thinks, right? People think like, oh, 
well, you don't want to be doing too many trap shrugs at the gym. That's going to make your shoulders tight. It's like, well, yeah, if you do it unconsciously and wrong, sure. But we're doing this consciously, right? Like we're focusing on this stuff. Like we're trying to sense the mus musculature in here. Like we're really trying to feel it and we're using it in a feeling way. We're not just like shoulders up, duh. We're consciously, deliberately choosing to have it up and getting to know that musculature better. So you bring your shoulders up in response to the cold and then you never bring them down again. <laughs> never bring them down again. You just uh, maintain that. You can, you, know, you can kind of copy what I'm doing here. See, see how it moves freely, right? Like try to move you know, like, in a way that isn't restri restricted. Just try to move really freely. So unless you have a moment where you bring that anxiety shoulder up thing down and relax that tension, it's just there forever. So imagine all the, all the moments in your life where you might've felt um, embarrassed or even angry or fearful, I suppose, or just stressed, just stressed, and that's a big one. You're like, raise your shoulders up, raise your shoulders up a little bit. They don't just go back down. <laughs> they don't just go back down unless you put them back down, like relax them back down, like consciously, like decrease that tension. People think that tension in the muscles is like this, like f purely physical phenomenon. Like the, the shoulder is tight, like the muscle is tight. The muscles are innervated by nerves. There are nerves in the muscle that go zzz, zzz, and make your muscles go contract. So if your muscles are contracting, that's because your nervous system is going zzz, 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 holding it up, right? So it's not gonna come down until, like people think you can go to the, like, the remedial massage therapist and he like, he'll rub the, or she will rub the muscles with their fingers, right? It kind of relaxes. Well, yeah, that's great for a few days until it's just tight again. Like, it works for some people. Some people just like, you know, have very good conscious connection to their body and they just need a, they just need a rub and then everything's okay again. But if you're actually like in poor posture and um, have just generally tight muscles like all over and stuff and it's kind of chronic in a way, a, a quick, you know, rub from the remedial massage therapist or physiotherapist just makes them you know, temporarily a bit better, right? But it doesn't get rid of the root cause of the problem because the root cause of the problem is not purely physical. Your brain is squeezing your shoulders. Like you need to accept that. You need to accept that your brain is like squeezing your shoulders. So let's, um, let's do a few um, up and downs, right? And we'll just, um, we just notice how the tension changes. So let's just lower it to as low as possible, right? Like almost like, uh, but still in the air, okay? So like you can, you relax it. But now let's go up like this, right? So let's go breathe in, raise. We can do it in reverse as well. Let's um, breathe in, breathe out, raise. Breathe in, down, breathe out, raise. Okay, breathe in, breathe out, lower. So you should be feeling that. You should probably should have felt that by now, I'd say. Like, I don't know, you never, you never know how long it's gonna need to really, well, you'll get an effect from this, that's for sure. Like when you put your shoulders down and, and that, you'll have a better conscious connection to your shoulders after doing this. I mean, it's only been 15 minutes. Like I can't make this video forever. Like I could probably hold them up for so much longer, but we'll probably stop it there because that's good enough, right? You don't need to, you don't need to go until some magical point. Like you, you get in, you get some benefit. 
you learn a bit about your autonomy, how your muscles work in that, and that's good. So, okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go down, but since we're gonna go down, why don't we just do a minute of like, you know, high. So put them up proper high, like reach them up, like really, you know. See if you can not, I just noticed I was doing this. So like, see if you can not do it with the chest so much. Try to relax the chest a bit. Yeah, like I should have said that earlier. See what we do is we use our thoracic spine to like go up. It's just spine, right? You don't need to do that. Like just let the spine go normal. See that that's that's what we're trying to get, right? That, that's what that's why we're here. Because you do it for long enough and then you're like, oh, I just noticed I was doing this thing weird. And then you go, oh, whew, and you relax out of that. But anyway, let's let's keep this raised. If I give you an instruction and then I forget to follow through on it myself, just, just keep doing it yourself, right? So, okay, so we're gonna go down. So from this point here, let's see if we can relax it like um, linearly. So we'll turn off the, the tension like in a straight line through time. So from 100% tension, we're gonna go down to 0% tension. Well, not zero, but like our minimum. We're gonna go from this maximum to our minimum evenly, okay? Just interpret that however you will. It doesn't matter. It's obviously, I can't measure it, you can't measure it, but let's go. Ready? Okay, so just start to turn it off. X units of tension off per second. Should feel pretty good around here. Just put the neck to the side. Just put the shoulders back. Let's just do a little Qigong move. Just uh, get your fingertips of your, uh, get your fingertips and just put them on one place on the outside of your leg and keep it there, right? Okay. You're gonna breathe in and do this movement. But it's not just um, turning your head, it's also your shoulder. shoulders go back as well, so it's like this. Keep those finger fingertips in place. Qigong's really good. Yeah, my coaches, of course, put Qigong is in the description, you can check it out. Okay, let's just do a few circles. And then just go like that. Okay, so you should have like slightly better shoulders now. Just slightly better. That's all you get out of a video like this. This is just like this slow burn, gradual improvement. Okay, see you tomorrow. I think what I'm gonna do is like sumo wrestling leg raises. That one's gonna be cool. Check it out tomorrow, see you then.